When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I grew older, I set aside childish ways. Corinthians 13, 11. In the distant future, mankind has spread into the stars and found it is not alone. Within the cluster of planets known as the Silrain Heart, many races strive for survival or supremacy. But throughout this array of planets, societies, and cultures, each has one thing in common. The Crucibles. Scattered throughout the galaxy, each moon-sized structure contains a core of raw soaring a form of mysterious energy used to power ships, cities, and sometimes the warping of the fabric of reality itself. Beings who can do this have been given a name, Espers. The power of God has been granted to God's children. It is a time of terror. It is a time of wonder. It is the time of Esper Genesis.
honk. Hey everyone. Uh, so welcome everybody. Uh, welcome Arvanauts to a Friday stream. It is uh, March 6th, uh, 2020. Uh, and uh, it is uh, good to see all of you here. And I appreciate it um, for people who came um, and were able to make it to this. Um, some of you coming on short notice or not. Thank you, Echo. Thank you. Um, so uh, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to create any kind of incredible mysteries, um, but uh, this is kind of an important one, and it was important for me to be able to do this. And if I had done this completely, I realized as I was doing this that one thing I didn't have up yet was the, um, uh, was the Hearts of Woolen uh, video, and I'm going to have to see if I can find that uh, later on so that I can actually put that up there. As well, but I think it's appropriate that we ended with the general one because I think uh, the general one sort of fits in a lot of ways. So, um, before I get started, I will say uh, that I do want to thank um, a couple of people, including the mods of this channel. I want to thank uh, Echo Alpha X5 for giving me the first sort of contact information about this. Um, and I especially want to thank Tashingen um, for reasons that I will describe in just a moment. And I especially, again, want to thank everyone who, uh, from the Shadow crew, from the community D&D crew, and again, from uh, my mod community about this also. Um, so the short version of this uh, basically is as follows. Um, on Thursday, um, I uh, received a message from Echo um, asking me to reach out to, to Schengen, who was trying to get a hold of, um, who had spoken to Echo and was trying to get a hold of others in our community and then specifically me. And so I had a chance to speak with him. The, um, the basic details about this are as follows. Um, Many of you, of course, uh, will have been, well, many, many people here will know, of course, of Kilobyte, who is a longtime mod, um, longtime regular on this channel. And one of the reasons that I played these videos is that Kilobyte is responsible for all of them. All of those videos you saw are ones that he did, music mostly by Chrono Wolf, um, but he did the videos for all of it, put it all together. Many of the emotes that we use on this channel came from him. Many of the overlays that you actually see came from him also. Um, you will also know that Kilobyte's health was not of the best, um, and uh, Kilobyte was diabetic um, and had been on dialysis since last year. None of that is talking out of school because it's stuff that he talked about regularly on this channel also. So I am sorry to be the bearer of the bad news that Kilobyte passed away on Tuesday. Um, it is apparently of complications from his diabetes. Um, we don't have uh, details about why, uh, you know, specifics about why or what happened, simply that it was related to something about the complications that he went through as a consequence of his experience diabetically. Um, and uh, so I found out about this from Tushingen, um again, and I want to thank him and Echo for letting me know and, and getting me into the loop because Tushingen knew that most of the local people in Winnipeg where he lived and most of the people in his community who were reeling from this, most of them did not do, hang out with us, basically didn't hang out on Twitch very much. And so we were the ones um, who were responsible for that. You know, we were the ones who were part of the community here. And so he felt it was important to let us know. So I want to again thank him because I, I'm very grateful so that we actually knew uh, what could happen. Uh, this is, this hits really hard. Um, you know, I won't, I won't sugarcoat it. This hurts really hard. Um, we have had, obviously, members of the community that we have lost before. There are some members of the community probably that I don't even know about because they, the nature of Twitch is people come, sometimes people go, and sometimes they don't let you know that they're going. And so if people don't reach out to us, it's difficult for us to be able to find out um, if something like that has happened. Uh, and, you know, certainly ones that I happen to know about, um, Alphador, who was a regular um, on the GOG channel and sometimes came over here, especially during game book illustration streams. He passed away a couple of years ago. Some of you will remember Sociocide, um, who was really more of a regular on Anominatus's channel when Anominatus was streaming regularly, but would sometimes come over here as well. 
But um, of the people that we know, this one hits in some ways the hardest uh, because Kilobyte was deeply involved with this channel. Um, many of the things, as I said, that you see around on this channel, from all of those videos I just played, to many of the emotes you use, to many of the overlays that you see, to the Kickstarter videos that were done, to some of the websites. My website, arvinelleron.com, was set up by Kilobyte. Um, Trendane's website was run and set up by Kilobyte. The Speculate website, my band the roads website were all managed by kilobyte and so he was deeply involved in the life of this channel and uh you know this is um and, and it's it's hard uh it is hard to lose someone like this who i consider to be um considered a friend um even though we had never met in person um, Kilobyte would often talk to me about uh, different things he was working on. He had ideas for a new RPG that he was working on. He swore that he was eventually going to make an Arv Raisin emote, uh, you know, for me as, as kind of a proof of, of the Arv Rage emote. Um, but there is just a, there's an extraordinary kind of void that happens, especially when it happens to someone that you not only care about, but who is relatively young. You know, um, Kilobyte was, I think, I believe in his 30s. Um, this is, it's horrible when anybody is lost to us, but it's especially horrible when it's someone who went um, younger than anyone should. And, uh, you know, he had been, he had really been struggling a couple of years ago. And when he went on dialysis last year, even though it was a difficult decision for him, he was doing a lot better. He was starting to lose a lot of weight because he could actually, you know, move around and go places and do things. He was starting to feel better. He had plans and hopes for the future. Many of you know that he had his own channel. He had become an affiliate. Um, you know, he was starting to do things uh, more than he had been in the past. And obviously, he was also part of our community D&D. &D. Um, and uh, you're right, 39, I believe that's right. Um, and he also was part of the community D and D, uh, game. And so, um, and he was, as far as I have been able to tell, almost universally liked here, you know, I don't know anybody that sort of had problems with him or at least not any that they didn't resolve sort of, you know, quickly and quietly. And, um, he was in many ways, the model of what I think the best of our, the best of our community is, um, he was a model of what I think all of you are, which is people that deeply care about each other and believe in the power of what community can do. Um, there is only so much that, so many things that words can say. Uh, there are only so many things that words can do. Uh, words cannot bridge the gap between us in the world of living and kilobyte in the world of the beyond. Um, but I hope what some of these words can do is to tie us back together to a reminder about what his passing means to us, why it matters to us. And I would say that part of the reason that it matters is it is a reminder of what we can be when we are at our best. And that is a group of people that care about each other, that hope the best for each other, that want the best for each other, and want us to be able to succeed and go forward. And I, I have many times read about the notion that what Twitch and a lot of the online communities that I, that I see are just a bunch of people hiding behind screens, um, you know, typing out troll, you know, trolls typing out words at other people, screaming at each other virtually. Um, but I would ask us to consider that the text names you see scrolling up to me on the wind next to me on the window, each one of those is a person with thoughts, with ambitions, with hopes, with dreams, with failures with triumphs um, and victories and defeats. And all of us have our own stories. And I would like it if the story that Kilobyte told, which was told so much in his online persona, which was told in the way that he treated us, which was told in the way that he played games, which was told in the way that he role played. I would like to think that all of those things um, are a reminder to us that we must treat each other with gentleness, with care, with humanity, and with a fundamental understanding that we are all people behind the names on that chat. And uh, I am very, very sorry that I'm not going to have a chance to see Kilobyte's unique name with his personality coming across um, at any point in the future. I am 
deeply sorry uh, about that, and I am deeply saddened, as I imagine many of you are saddened as well. Um, I thought about different ways to be able to handle this. Um, one of the things that I wondered was whether this is the kind of thing that I should um, wait entirely for, you know, the family to speak. But I heard from friends, he has been, some, the friends have been talking about it on his Facebook page and elsewhere. And so I felt the best thing to do was for us to be able to celebrate him within this community. And so I'm going to give us a chance to chat about it a little bit here. Um, I'm going to get a chance to play a few video clips from his channel, which Echo Alpha X5 was nice enough to compile. I'm going to play a video that um, is a music video that has very powerful resonance for me and I think has powerful resonance in this moment. And then once we have done all of that, I'm going to play a game because I am convinced that that is exactly what he would want us to do. Um, and so I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, and I'm sorry to in any way kind of bring people down. Um, I know the world is a difficult place, but a community is measured not only in the moments when it is doing really well, but in a moment when it's in pain. And so I wanted to bring us together to have a chance to talk, to grieve, and to also celebrate um, the life that he had. And so <clears throat> now I will try to catch up a little bit on chat. Oh, and actually one, one thing that Arudinel just reminded me of. I also want to announce, um, and I imagine people will not have an objection to this, my charity convention, which as you know is held every year, ARFCON, has raised thousands and thousands of dollars, almost $10,000 to benefit the Damon Running Cancer Research Foundation. This year, though, I have made the decision that for this year only, I'm going to be shifting the beneficiary of ARFCON to a diabetic research foundation. I don't know which one yet. I haven't had a chance to do the research. I want to make sure it's the right one. But I think that is going to be a way to honor his memory, to try to make sure that others do not get this disease, which, although it can sometimes be manageable, often has effects like the ones that we're dealing with right now. My cousin also suffers from diabetes. And to be able to, again, come together to support that strategy. And so JDRF, that's a good one. Yeah, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation is a good one. Um, and that may be one that I'll think about. That's, that's a good one, Carlos. Thank you. I will, I will look into that. But, um, but I will think about that uh, and I'll make the decision about that. But that's what I'm going to do for this year um, because I wanted to honor his, you know, his memory. And uh, I wanted to honor his memory and because I wanted to um, you know, see what we could do together as a community to sort of support him in that way. Um, the last thing I'll say is that when I get other information, if I get other information shared by his friends and family, I will, of course, post that on Discord. I'll try to post it on Twitter. Um, I think that if any of you wished right now before ARFCON, wish now to be able to donate something, donating to a Diabetes Research Foundation in his memory would be a good way to do it. Um, I think that would be something which would be a great honor to him. And that's something that you could also think about doing as well. And so, um... You know, but that's that's what this will be about. So, uh, all right, let me move up the um, let me move up the chat and uh, see what people have been saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a plan for the video in the Shadow Crew, yes. Um, we had no chance to get to it, but there was a plan about that as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm so sorry, Echo. I mean, I appreciate that, you know, and I it's not to Shingen's fault, but I appreciate the fact that you were able to keep it quiet because it allowed us to do this in a way that was really respectful of everybody. But I'm sorry that you had to deal with that, that entire session, my God. So so seriously, much love, Echo. I, I appreciate that because that, that must not have been easy for you, I can't imagine. Um as far as the place to donate in his name, yes, as I mentioned, Kerflop, I know that you're probably already responding to this down below, but um, I don't know yet. Um, there is no official stuff from family or anything in terms of places to donate, but the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund um, may be a good one. And I, again, as soon as I have an idea of which where we're going to go with ARFCON, ARFCON, again, doesn't happen until May, but until, once I figure that out, then we'll go down uh, that line. Um, so we will see. Okay, Dragon, I think someone else talked about the complications of diabetes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Rocka, thanks. Um, hey, what's up, Zach? Yeah, um, it was it was a shock. It was a huge shock to me also. Um, let's see. 
felt safe to open to and speak to. Yes, exactly. I mean, Kill was one of those people that you could speak to and chat about with, with anything and could feel comfortable doing it. Um, and he was one of those people that would, you know, he would talk openly about what he was dealing with, but he would never complain about it. You know, he would talk about his real frustrations. He would talk about his emotions. He would sort of, you know, be like, yeah, that, that sucks. He's like, you know, one of the things I'm dealing with when I'm going dealing with these complications is this, this, and this. He would do that, but he was never, you know, he never moaned and groaned or whined, and he would have had every right to do that if he wanted, but he just never did, um, did do that. And he had a vibrant local friend community also, and a lot of those people were just, to put it the way the Shingen explained it to me, was they were reeling. And I mean, that's kind of the way I felt was sort of reeling from it. I, I, it's still kind of surreal because it was just on Monday, I believe, when he actually came in when I had my bonus stream and, you know, resubbed and said, you know, hey, how are you doing? And I was chatting with him about, you know, this, this thing about maybe a video thing that we were going to be doing and some other stuff. Um, and that was that. And this, it is another reminder of the preciousness of night life it is also a reminder of the needed of the need for gentleness. Um, none of us, I think, can avoid harsh words because there are times when that's just going to come out. But to the extent possible, we need to be gentle with others because we don't know when the next stage will come. We also, I want to say, need to be gentle with ourselves because I know there were a lot of people who, you know, the ones I told about this, Shadowed Mage and some others, who were really affected badly by this also because of how well, you know, they knew Kill. And being gentle with yourself is also important. Uh, and I want to remind everybody that this community is an open community for people to be able to reach out to each other. That includes reaching out to me. It includes reaching out to members of the mod community. Even if we are not able to, we're not professional trained therapists, but we can point you in the right direction. And below the professional therapy level, we can always lend an open ear. So if this is triggering for you and a struggle for you because it reminds you of other experiences in your past or things with family or friends, please do reach out to us. Um, we can't avoid having news like this come to us, I think. I think it's wrong to conceal it forever and to not tell anyone about it. Um, but the cost to that is that it means that it can hurt and it can, it can open old wounds. And so I do want to offer what our community can do in this regard um, for people who need assistance and help um, with this, uh, regardless one way or the other. Uh, I also want to point out, by the way, that, um, yeah, I'll, I'll come down to that in just a minute. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, hey, or Weaver, no, it wasn't what I wanted to hear either. Um, I know, Paxi, I couldn't believe it also. Thank you, Garlic Tofu. I, I really appreciate that very much. And of course, he did, a, you know, he was one of the ones who did a video for us also. Um, and he also did a video for my Forbidden Library. I mean, he just did so much stuff. And, um, you know, and I, I paid him for all of his work. But, um, you know, he was just, he was a good guy. He really was a good guy. Um, I'll be sending a couple pens for Kill. Thank you, Kerflop. I mean, it's my pleasure to Kanji. I really appreciate you coming over too. Um, yeah, he was on dialysis. Yeah. Hey, what's up video store cowboy? Yeah. Um, well, thank you. Um, this is rough. It's rough. Um, this is, this is a big blow, uh, just because he was so, you know, he's been in the channel five, six years. Um, and you know, and was just so well connected with so many people here. Yes, that's exactly right, Lenariella. Thank you, Video Star Cowboy. I appreciate that. I will I will very much keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very kind offer. Um, I don't want to out Dragon Spear about anything, but I will just say as far as stuff is concerned, Dragon Spear is one of the most generous people uh in this community. And that that goes that also includes stuff for Kilobyte, and I'm not gonna say any more than that. Um, except to say that Dragon's generosity was also expressed there too. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll leave it at that because I don't want to say more. But, uh, you know, Dragon Spear lives his faith uh, in his his everyday behavior. So, yes, yeah, Shadow, and I know. And I, I, your reaction was pretty much I was thinking about it. And I'm like, I, I felt awful. I mean, I, who wants to convey this news? Um, but someone has to. Yeah, I know, Ridnell. He was so feeling so good about it. Um, feeling so good. And yes, Paxi, that's a good way to put it. A seriously old soul. Exactly. 
Yeah. Um, so, so, uh, for those of you again, uh, joining us a little bit late, what we're going to do now is we're going to play some clips, but for those of you joining us late, uh, Kilobyte, a longtime member of this community, uh, a mod and regular, a person who was responsible for almost all of the intro videos on this channel, was responsible for many of the overlays, responsible for many of the emotes, um, and uh, who was responsible for also played in our community D&D game and so forth, um, passed away from complications from diabetes on uh, Tuesday. Um, we don't have more of the details yet. Um, we know that he, I know that he had been dealing with serious health issues for a while. Um, but we thought that he had gotten past it. He was on dialysis, not past it, but he was, he was dealing with it. He had gotten on a dialysis that was helping him to feel better. He was on the list for a transplant, a kidney transplant. Um, but diabetic, diabetes is a very serious disease. And, um, apparently the, the complications overwhelmed him at a certain point. And, uh, and yes, he was, uh, not even 40. Um, and so, it's this is why we you know are having this tonight um the plan for tonight is to play some video clips uh i want to play one song sort of in his honor and then uh, after we've had a chance to do that then i'm going to play a game and the reason i'm doing that is because that is exactly what he would have wanted us to do there's no question about it um i'm also going to say one other thing and this is dangerous because because I don't in any way want to exclude or remove or shut out anyone's own spiritual experience. Um, I don't want to shut out anyone from any denomination or none at all, atheist, agnostic. Um, but I want to say that I've always felt that there is something beyond where we are. I don't know entirely what it is. I'm a Unitarian Universalist and... We have a pretty liberal <laughs> approach to most things. But I'd like to think that if there is a beyond, that people like Kilobyte would be the ones to end up there. Uh, you may have heard the old uh, joke about, you know, I wouldn't want to be a member of any club that would have me. You know, I would say the opposite. Uh, I would like to be a member of a club that would have Kilobyte. And you have to decide in the own privacy of your thoughts and the own, your own framework of your beliefs what you consider uh, to be true and not true. And I don't want to get into that discussion here. But I want to say that this is a person who is worthy of being wherever that ends up to be. And I hope that is the case. Either way. He made things better for us in our small way in this community uh, on this channel and with the Arvanauts while he was here. And I will always be grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I know that nonstop. And I, I thought a little bit about you, actually, um, when this came up, because... Again, I know that we've talked quite a bit about your experiences. Uh, and, you know, you always come in and are always positive and upbeat and the same way. And I, I, you know, and I really appreciate that. And so I just, I would just say, I've always thought of you as being an example of the way that he was. Um, and so for what that's worth. Right. Right. And I'm glad that you got a chance to play with him in a couple of sessions, Rock God. I really am glad about that. So, um, <laughs> that's true. That's true. I imagine that's true. Uh, so, what I'd like to do is I'm going to play a few of these clips um, from Kilobyte's channel, uh, which again, Echo was kind enough to bring together um, for us. And so again, thank you to Echo for doing that. Then I want to play this video and then we'll move on to um, playing the game. And I, again, appreciate everyone who was here. Um, and um, yeah, you know, lighting a candle is a good thing to do regardless of your beliefs. And if you either virtually or otherwise, light a candle in his name uh, this evening, sometime in the next few days. I think that would be pretty well appreciated. 
Oh, and Shingen is here. And to Shingen again, I, I want to really thank you for letting us know about this. I, I really, really am appreciative. You know, not everyone would have done that. There are a lot of people who would think that like the online community is not really friends. They're not really, it's not real life. And I really appreciate you doing that. Uh, that was not necessary and it was very much appreciated. I know that uh, Shingen has known him in, in quotes in real life for many, many decades. And so I'm really grateful uh, that you did that. So thank you. Thank you to Shingen. It was, it was really in, in the best spirit of what he was. So thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So let's, uh, let's play a few clips here, shall we? Um, so some of these I've seen, but not all of them. Yeah. Well, he was a good guy. It was easy to make friends with him. You know, it, it really was easy to make friends with him. So he was a good guy and, um, and I'm, I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What Arudinel says is true. And, uh, and I really hope that in that spirit, by the way, I really hope that what, Shingen showed in reaching out to us. I really hope what Kilobyte, you know, showed in kind of being open for someone that you felt Arudinel you could open up to. I know you and I have Arudinel have chatted too as well. Um, I hope that we'll continue to pass that forward. Um, I cannot explain how important it is to be vulnerable at this time. I cannot explain how important it is to be open. It is a salve to the wounds we experience from the everyday. It is a compensation. And it is an act of love. And um, and it's the reason this channel exists. Let me play a couple of these clips. The match. Quit? Then it says, then the message says, so and so has quit the match. So it actually has different messages. Forfeit? <laughs> Come on, I'm playing better now. Just quit? Then it says... <laughs> nice! <laughs> you blew me up on everything. <laughs> Yeah, golf video games are good, I think. Wow, really? Dude totally knocked it into his own net! <laughs> ah! Oh, I so hate when that happens. <laughs> well, I mean... It's funny when it happens to somebody I'm playing against. I hate it when it happens to me, but... Dude! <laughs> I psyched him out, did you see that? <laughs> I gotta watch that replay. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Once more in the next 14 seconds, we can tie it up and go to overtime. Ah! 
Banzai! Yeah! And almost looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I got this. Yeah! Doom, doom, doom. Another one bites the dust. Extractor destroyed. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. Another one bites the dust. Doom. Do, 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 do. Another one bites the dust. I think the Snorlax actually does look a little bit like Trendane. <laughs> Next time I see him in chat, I'm going to tell him that. I'm sure he's probably already aware of it. Yeah, I do too. A lot of those made me smile. I actually, I did not have any idea that he was that good at Rocket League. I mean, I knew that he played it, but I had no idea that he played he played that. He really... Trending as Snorlax is really great. Um, oh, man. I wish Trend were here. Oh. <laughs> um, some of those were funny. And Zach's right. Like, some of those Rocket League shots are legit. Like, I've only played Rocket League a couple times, but... Oh, my God. Some of those shots were really good. Um, you know, he played a lot of Fantasy Star 4, which is definitely something that, you know, is he had suggested... Uh, won the game, the you know the Patreon field game of the month, and I'll have to play that down the line and stuff like that. But um, man, I mean, and as I say, I used to hang out, you know, and lurk in his channel, and sometimes I went over and even commented, but not usually during the times he was streaming. I often was like at the teaching or something, or I wasn't there for the Rocket League stuff, so I knew he was there. But man, <laughs> some of those were a lot of fun. Uh, all right, so one more video, and I decided not to show the one that was the um, the the Terry Tunes kilobyte clip. Uh, it's basically just an advertising clip that basically says you should reach out to him for your video needs. And I mean, he did such a good job with all the videos. You can see that, you know, yourself. I mean, he, and he continued to get better. You know, he, everything that he did got better and better. Um, some of the ones were crazy. Like that last one, the, the one that I've been using, the general video intro, um, is he did such a good job matching that together. It's super professional. And I just feel very fortunate um, that he was a big part of this and that, that he was able to make that happen. It really, it really made a, a big difference. Um, so this last video then that I want to play, um, and again, I want to thank everyone for being here. And after this, we'll, we'll move on to play some Operensi as he would have wanted. But yeah, his intro was amazing too. That's true. I need to try to track down his intro if I can. Um, so we could, but yeah, his intro was great also. Um, I want to play this song by Tall Heights. Um, Tall Heights, as you folks know, is uh, it's a band that I happen to know that he liked a little bit, and uh, because he from being exposed to them on my channel, um, these are two guys who, for a time, I thought were one of the best uh, folk duos uh, since Simon and Garfunkel. They are great, and this particular song is amazing and sums up a little bit about how I feel. Um, and I hope that this will be a connected. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, thanks, Echo. Um, I think everyone will see is sort of the connection to this. And so um, this one here is um, in honor and memory of our dear friend Kilobyte. Um, rest in peace, my friend. And um, I, I hope we see you on the other side. Let me down easy, let me down slow If 
Rest in peace, my friend. Sure. Uh, I'll play the clip again since Trent is here. Um, Let me do that one more time. I'm not going to play that music again, although I might do it at the end. Uh, That's one of my favorite songs by them, and it just seemed appropriate tonight, so... Uh, well, (laughs) hey, Kevin, what's up, man? Um, let me, uh, yeah, let me play the clip. Uh, I'll, I'll summarize, I'll summarize it, uh, in just a moment. So just give me a sec here. Um,
Okay. Let me get the uh, get this window capture up. Okay, here we go. This is what he wanted to tell you, Trin. You know, it's actually true. I think I think the Snorlax actually does look a little bit like Trendane. <laughs> Next time I see him in chat, I'm going to tell him that. I'm sure he's probably already aware, but... <laughs> Thank you, Ishel. <laughs> he wanted... So he had, he had wanted to tell you that trend. I am now aware. <laughs> so uh, one last time on this announcement, and as time comes on, you know, as people come in, hopefully others can explain as well what's going on. Um, <laughs> that really is funny. Oh, man, that really is funny. Um, so uh, Coven, and for those of you coming in late, um, we got word on Thursday, actually, uh, Echo got word on Wednesday, I got word on Thursday, um, that I think you do wear more clothes, is true, uh, that, um, Kilobyte passed away on Tuesday, um, from, uh, complications relating to his diabetes. Um, we don't know specifics, um, I don't know the details, I know that, his health um, was always kind of a struggle for him, at least in many years that I knew him, uh, and that he himself, uh, he had been on dialysis, um, but he had felt like he was doing better, um, and that he had kind of turned a corner, and that he was on the list to get a, a transplant. Um, he was in Canada, which meant that he had at least somewhat rational health care, um, and stuff like that, but um, unfortunately, uh, he yeah passed away of complications. Which is obviously a big blow, uh, and I spent some time earlier today talking about it. I talked a little bit with the community here about what it was, what happened, uh, you know, and figuring out how to process it. Um, the other announcement that I made is that um, ARFCON for this year only is going to be, um, that ARFCON is going to be uh, in his honor this year and is going to be dedicated in his honor this year in his memory, um, instead of Damon Runyon this year, it will be to a Diabetes Research Foundation, maybe Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, maybe something else. Um, so I don't, I don't know for sure yet exactly what the organization is. I'll have to do a little bit of research, and this is not going to be happening till May, but we are going to be doing something like that for this year only um, in, his, in his memory. And uh, I have a cousin who suffers from diabetes. I know many other people deal with this as well, and I think sometimes there is this belief that, you know, people who are diabetic, you just, you know, you, you give yourself an insulin shot, and that's, and you're good, or you change your diet, and it's way more complicated than that. It's way more complex than that. And it is often a fatal disease. And um, so I, you know, that's, that's the plan of what we're going to do. But, um, but again, you know, Kilobyte was a good guy. He was, you know, very well respected here. And as a lot of people you've heard talking about today in chat have said, he was one of the people that they felt good opening up to. And again, on a personal level, um, you know, he and I certainly chatted about a number of things. I considered him a friend and he did such, you know, so many wonderful things really as part of what we did for the community. I was, you know, I was able to employ him to do overlays and emotes and videos and all these sorts of things. Um, and, uh, you know, he made all these suggestions about games to play and about ideas to bring to chat and about different, you know, things to consider and just, you know, was really the po the perfect example of what I would hope an Arvanaut would be, which is engaged and optimistic and vulnerable and open to the community and trying to help people. And um, that's what he was. Uh, and so this is really rough uh, because of the significance of what he was in the chat. It's rough to lose anybody, but someone like this who had this kind of a, you know, presence in our channel um, makes it very difficult. Um, he was with us for five, six years. Um, and yeah, so that is what we're about. So yeah, it's nicely said, Brahms. It's a wonderful quote from when they have left the gray havens the gray rain curtain turned all to silver glass and was rolled back and he beheld white shores and beyond them a far green country under a swift sunrise yeah it's beautiful stuff from tolkien 
And yeah, Tren, uh, I knew that too. I mentioned that earlier on, actually, that he built your website um, and just did, you know, he built my website, my, my you know, website for this channel, uh, managed two others, my Speculate website, my, my band, The Road website. So, um, and he was, just, he was just a good guy, he did a lot of things very well, but he was also just a good guy that connected well with everybody and was easygoing and, um, and it hurts, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, he wasn't even 40. Um, so, you know, losing anybody is difficult, but just on top of it, too young, you know. Uh, and so I know, again, many people have losses um, and many people, you know, may be feeling reminders of those losses with this one. And so, again, I want to give, a, you know, the channel and folks here and the community here, this is another encouragement to us to help reach out to each other as he did, um, and to be able to respect and honor his memory through the way that we live our lives. The nice thing about this for me is that when I say that to you folks, I don't have to say it and go, okay, now start doing it for the first time. Because most of you, in fact, I would say just about all of you have been doing that already. So this is something where I can simply say, keep being who you are. Keep reaching out to people around you. Keep growing this community. Keep embracing members of it and be open and vulnerable to them. Open and vulnerable doesn't mean being foolish, doesn't mean revealing private details that you don't feel comfortable doing, but it means being willing to listen. It means understanding that the person typing text to you on the other side of the screen, even if you never see a webcam picture of them, is a real honest to God person. And they have their own lives, their own backstories, their own triumphs, doubts, fears, terrors, uh, strengths, successes. And all of those are part of what make us who we are, whether we're doing it in quotes in person in front of people or whether we're doing it on a screen typing in chat. Um, some of you may have noticed that I started pitching uh, a book um, as part of Pitch Wars yesterday on Twitter that was a nonfiction book about Twitch. And in part, what it does is sort of discuss people like this. It is partly a book that is somewhat a memoir. It's also a book which discusses um, many people in the community and how reaching out to each other makes a big difference. Um, I hope that someone, some publisher picks that book up because I'm proud, of, I'm proud of what I think that book could be. And I think I would like to see stories like this one reach more people because I think it is a model of what we can do out there. Um, I've done quite a bit of group therapy. And in group therapy, one of the things that you learn is that you connect with people inside your group, both for them, but also so that you can learn to connect to people outside that group as well. And that is what I would like to have had here with Kilobyte, that he was a model for the way to be within a community so that we can reach without that community also. Um, and I'm confident that we can do that. It, you know, it may sound, I don't know, hyperbolic or, or grandiose, but I don't mean it that way. It's just, it's a profound belief in the strength of people coming together among common purpose. And I'm deeply glad that you fit that description. I'm sorry that one of you had to leave us uh, and make that community somewhat lesser for his passing. But I hope it will encourage all of us to reach out even more and to strengthen even more um, and to bring in even more so that a loss in the end becomes part of the fabric of what brings us together. Hey, Mrs. Dunsell. Hey, and also hi, Commander Dunsell. And agreed, Trent. Agreed. Trent, I said before you came on, um, that's good to know. Please, please, uh, do me a favor, shout out and send that to me in discord as well. If you wouldn't mind, that's very helpful. I don't know how that works. What I might do is I might do like a joint thing so that people in America can contribute to this and people in Canada contribute to that so that there's no problem of like inter con, you know, international, I, I don't know, unless they have an international contribution, but either way, I'd, I would be happy to do that. That might be another good example. So, uh, but Trent, one of the things that I said, which I think you'll probably understand, is that leaving aside what people do or don't believe about what happens beyond, 
the old joke about I wouldn't want to, you know, anyone who would have me, any club that would have me uh, as a member, I wouldn't want to join. I feel the opposite. I feel like if there is a beyond, Kilobyte deserves to be there. And I would like to be able to be, have us be part of the club that he is, if you understand what I mean. So kind of a reversal of that, of that joke. And I totally agree, Echo. Zach is not just a guest, for sure. So, um, with that said, um, we are going to, as I said, play a game. And the reason is because this is 100% what he would want us to do. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm wearing this is because he was a fan of the Sega, specifically the Sega Genesis. In fact, I thought about playing Fantasy Star, but then I decided, nah, I don't, I don't think it has to be that down, you know, exact in terms of because he played other other games as well. Um, and so, but this, as we play tonight, I want us to think about not only grief, which is a part of this, but also celebration. Uh, this is both grief, but celebration that we got to share time with him and share time with the people around us. And if I may say, this is also why it is so important to connect with people now. Um, it's not, I sometimes hear people say that, like hug the one you love a little bit closer. The idea is not, I sometimes feel like people sort of look at that almost with terror, like hug them because they're going to die in three seconds. It, it's not, it's not about that. It's about taking, it's about the sharp relief. Imagine what it's like to be in a darkened room and then to flip the light and to see the brightness of what is around you, the outlines, the colors, your eyes adjusting to the experience of the light. That contrast is what happens when someone that we care about leaves us because, and it is a way for us and those moments when we reach out and hug our brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, children, friends, significant others, husbands, wives, lovers, right? It is in those moments that the contrast of the light that was flipped allows us to feel even more strongly that love that we have for others. And so it is, if you will, a gift. It's one of the last gifts of the person who departs. They leave us their memory and their legacy, but they also leave us a contrast with what we still have. And I would like to think that having this contrast means that when you hug someone you care about, reach out to someone you care about, it'll be a gift to you because you will feel it even that more strongly. And yes, his name was Scott Gregg. Hey, Lone Wolf. Yeah. So I expect that other people will come in um, and we'll talk a little bit about this and that's fine. Um, but I, you know, I'm going to ask, we're going to move on uh, for the moment and we're going to play something and I'm happy to talk more about this as well. And you know what? And I know you are Pagan Coven. I don't know exactly what that is, but I, I'd love to know. I mean, anyone who wants to talk about what they'll be doing for him is fine. And also, I should say, everyone is also within their rights to respond however they want. You can respond by saying nothing. You can respond by quietly going and crying. You can respond by quietly going and laughing. Because, you know, you you laugh at the joy of, his, of having experienced life with him. However you feel. Love, sadness, happiness anger, no emotion you feel is inappropriate. And that goes not just for the loss of Scott, anyone's loss. No emotion that you feel is wrong. If you take nothing away from this, take that away. No emotion you feel, if you truly feel it, is wrong. You can process it, work through it, integrate it, but don't suppress it to yourself, I mean. Don't suppress it. Don't get angry at yourself for it. Feel whatever you feel and be gentle to yourself in that feeling. Relief that your dark secrets tied with him. <laughs> and that, and humor is a big part of this too, Shingen. <laughs> oh, not at all, Lone Wolf, not at all. Not at all. 
<laughs> wow, that's really, that's awesome, Coven. That's really special. I did not know that. That's really special. Oh, Shingen, that's really funny. And that's also, also completely appropriate. I'd like to think that he's laughing about that right now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's, let's turn the stuff on that I turned off. And, uh, let's, let's play a game. Yeah. That's great, everybody. Thank you also one last time for the respect for the respect everyone paid tonight. Uh, it really means so much to me. And I hope that as his friends and family get a chance to see this VOD and Fat Shingen, I hope you'll be willing to direct people to the first, I would say, oh, I'm going to stop the recording and then I'll start it again. But um, I'm going to keep streaming, of course. But I would say if you could direct people to the first, you know, this video, which I will put up on my YouTube channel in the next 24 to 48 hours or so, um, and let them know. I hope that they will see that he was really loved by this community, and I hope that that will be some measure of comfort to them. Um, I don't know how much they or anybody knew about his, his sort of online life with us, but I hope that that will make a difference. So, uh, yeah, I will do that. I will do that. And if, if I don't, if one of the mods could also remember that, I would really appreciate that. So... So thank you, and thank you for those of you who came, uh, because it really, um, it really means a lot, and uh, the community is at its best in moments like this, so thank you. So I'm going to stop the recording, um, and then I will restart it, so again, Kilobyte, much love, and um, not fair, as the saying goes, not farewell, but fair forward, um, Voyager. <laughs>